In this part two of the inventory tutorials, we're going to draw a graphical user interface to display our inventory so we don't have to keep hitting that I key. And then we're going to set up a two dimensional array to hold our inventory. So we're going to start by creating an object. And we're going to call that object inventory. And this is going to be what is going to display our inventory. In fact, we'll call it inventory display. So we're going to create, have a create event in here. And in this create event, we're going to set up some variables for the location where we're going to draw this graphical user interface. And right now we'll do a draw location 1, 30, draw location 2, 90. And what this is going to be is this is basically going to be in our array the first column of our array and the second column of our array. And this is going to indicate where it starts drawing on the x axis. So the next thing we'll do is we'll add another event and this is going to be a draw event and specifically a draw GUI event. And we're going to start by setting the color of the text. So we'll have white text and now we're going to need to cycle through our inventory. So we'll set up a for loop. Just like we did before, we'll use i as the variable. Now a couple of things here. We're using this i counter but now we're going to have that as a global variable instead of a local variable. So we'll have to go up and change those others to the global variable so we can access it in this object. So we're going to use a draw text. And this is where we're going to use our draw location variables that we set up in the create event. And we'll set up another draw text. And we'll set this to draw location 2. And what this i times 30 does is it takes our variable here, multiplies it by 30 so that we get lines going down each time. So it'll put a line on top. And then the next time it cycles through, it'll put a line below that and then below that. So we'll end up with three or four different lines for our inventory. Right now, I have this set up where it's actually going to display the same thing simply because we only have a one-dimensional array right now. In just a few minutes when we add the 2D array, we're actually going to come back here and set this line to our first column and this line to our second column in the array. And I'll explain that in just a second. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come back up here and we just need to go through and take all of our eye counter and change them to global eye counter. And I'll go change all of these up here and I will be right back. All right, I've set all the eye counters to be global. So now we're going to go through and change our one dimensional array that we had to a two dimensional array. So right here under global inventory where we have the brackets and zero, we're going to change that to a two dimensional array. 
by setting up two numbers here. The first number is going to represent the row. The second number is going to represent the column. So 0, 0 is going to be in the top left-hand corner. If we had 0, 1, that's going to be on the first row, which is, which is the 0 row, and the column 2. Remember, everything starts with 0, so 0 represents the first space. 1, 0 would represent the second row, first column. 1, 1 would represent the second row, second column. So we have that set up. So we want the first spot to be none. And we've got to set up a second spot. We're going to set that to be 0, 1, first row, second column. And that's going to be a 0. And we also, while we're here, we're going to go ahead and set up some variables that we're going to use later. And I'll explain how we're going to use these in just a second. All right, so now we're going to move down to our object X. And we're going to change this from a one-dimensional to a two-dimensional array. So right here under global inventory, we had that originally set to the global eye counter, so it would count up as we added things. Now we're going to add our second spot for our two-dimensional array. So our first column, which is going to be indicated by this eye counter, is always going to be the name of the object that we pick up. The second spot in the row, or the second column, is going to equal the number of items that we've picked up. So we're only going to have one axe. This number will be set to 1. We'll leave everything else the same. We'll go ahead and move down to our mall. We'll do the same thing with our mall. We're only going to have one mall. And we want the first spot in that row to equal the name of the thing that we pick up. Everything else will stay the same on this one. Now our wood is going to be a little bit different. We're going to break this code down into several components. I'm going to take this code that we already have and just move it down and we'll pull it back up in just a second. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up an if statement. Now that's the variable that I put in the create event earlier right here first would pick up and we set that to equal to one. We're going to use this as kind of a toggle to see whether we've actually put in any wood in our inventory. Now there's other ways to do this. This is just really easy and we can see what's going on with it. So if this is not our first wood pickup, then we're going to do this code. And then this is going to be an if else statement. Else do this code. So if this is our first wood pickup, which is going to be our else here, this is where we're going to go ahead and bring in our old code. We're going to tweak it just like we did our axe and our mall. So we're going to set this as a 2D array. We want the first spot in this row to be the name, which is wood. We want the second spot to equal the number. And in this case, it's going to be 1 because we know that this is the first time we've picked up the wood. Now the way we're going to tell it that is at the end of this else statement, we're going to change our variable to be 0. 
So now this will only want, run one time, and that's the very first time we pick up the wood. If we already have the wood, we need to change this up a little bit. So we'll break this piece of code down into two sections as well. The first section we're going to look at here is just how we're going to handle picking up the wood. And we're going to do that by basically copying this code and we need to tweak it just a little bit. So this is basically going to set the first spot to wood. This is going to set the second spot to one, which is no good. We're going to have to change this one here. And we'll do that in just a second. But in order to do that, we actually have to find in our list where wood is. So we're going to use this as a for statement. So we're going to set up a for. We'll use the variable a. While a is less than the global i counter. So what we want this to do is cycle through as many times as we have items in the list. We're going to set up another if statement. All right. So what this does is it's going to cycle through our array. It's going to find the spot that equals wood. And when it does, it's going to set this wood object to equal that number so we can tell what row it is. So our wood object variable now becomes a number which correlates where wood is in the list. Now we're doing that because we need to come down to this spot here and we need to change a couple of things. We're going to create a variable number of wood to equal global inventory So wood object, our 2D array is going to determine which row it's on. It's going to set the spot number two, the column number two, excuse me, to be whatever it is plus one. So this is going to be our counter. So if it equals one already, then the next time we pick up a piece of wood, it's going to equal two. And then we need to set this one down here in our 2D array, instead of one, we want it to equal whatever this new number is. All right, as I said earlier, we're gonna get rid of this I press, and we're going to add a kind of a heads up inventory. So down under our object, draw GUI, we need to add our 2D array in this as well. Remember we used a, the one dimensional array here to set up what our inventory was. So now we're gonna do I comma zero for the first column and I comma one for our second column. And we're gonna go over to our room and we're gonna pull our object inventory display into the room. All right, so now we're going to test this out. So we move over to our mall. We can see we have one mall. Move over to our axe. We have one axe. We have one piece of wood. And now our wood's not counting, so we got to go fix that real quick. All right, the problem that I had was that right here in this if statement, 
if this is not the first time I've picked up wood, we need to change this so our global inventory, our 2D array, the first spot, instead of it being just a counter, we actually need to make that equal to the wood object so that it's adding to this same row and not trying to add a new row. All right, let's go check that out. So we have one maul, we have one axe, one piece of wood, and now our wood is counting up as we collect it. 